so passage 1 was not a very easy passage yes a lot of you may have felt this the language required a lot of interpretation so let's see what the passage talked about it talked about something called entropy right so the first paragraph defines what entropy is through various concepts okay it gives a number of definitions of entropy then the second paragraph talks about the etymology of the word where does the word come from why did the person who named it named it entropy it then relates this entropy to a poet w h auden that how when a war broke out in front of this poet he came to this realization about entropy so it was a post traumatic reckoning with the aftermath of the war he came to this realization that entropy or the undoing of being the taker away of life is what dominates all okay it dominates all human beings and no matter what a human being believes in right see 80 million lives had been uh, had gone unsaved in the war right so no no matter what a human being believes in what his or her ideals and idealisms are we must die anyway that is the realization that he had in the aftermath of the war so to reflect this realization he revised the line of his poem what did he write so initially he had written we must love one another or die that was the final line of the penultimate stanza of his poem we must love one another or die then he changed it to read we must love one another and die okay so this is what this passage is about it begins with the concept of entropy you don't really anticipate that it will be related to the life to the realizations of a poet but that's how the passage proceeds so let's see uh, how the questions are easy difficult question 3 which of the following can be inferred from the passage okay a says auden realized the inadequacy of art as a coping mechanism auden realized that art was not enough as a coping mechanism okay we'll see if this has this is there in the passage entropy is indispensable and pervasive for human beings okay indispensable something that they can't do without and pervasive something that uh, dominates the, that's everywhere for them right that's pervasive okay we'll verify this if it's true Auden was the son of a physicist this is factual so this is very easy to verify actually Auden was son the son of a physicist and was born after the two world wars but we have seen in the passage that a war broke out in front of him right so this is highly questionable t Auden talked about compassion in his poems as evidenced in the passage the passage talks about one poem of Auden one poem right and there yes he makes an he makes an impassioned plea for compassion that is stated so can i say that he talked about compassion in his poems from just one poem he may have but i can't be sure about this so again this option becomes highly questionable right so let's have a look as to which between a and b would be better okay and whether c and d uh, whether you know c can be rejected i think it will be rejected right away still let's verify this so we start talking about auden here the child of a physicist w h auden had no illusion about the entropic nature of reality the child of two world wars when we call someone a child of so and so phenomenon so and so event that means these events happened in front of the person so the child of two world wars means wars means that both of them happened when he was alive okay so it becomes right away option c becomes false okay d we have all eliminated because it's too broad now between a and b um let's see if entropy is indeed pervasive and indispensable okay so it is inescapable irreversible all right all right then um we say this that without entropy here without entropy there would be no us if without entropy there would be no us it is very necessary for us right it's indispensable for us so this part is substantiated here 
Moreover, when we say entropy dominates all, this is given here when we talk about the war that uh, he had this realization that entropy dominates all. Just a second. The recognition that entropy dominates all. Right. So that means yes, it is pervasive also for human beings. So this is substantiated, B substantiated. Whereas if I look at option A, right, if I look at option A, that talked about the inadequacy, that Auden realized the inadequacy of art as a coping mechanism. This part has not really been stated. You know, in fact, my passage says that Auden, see this, it may be that art is simply what we call our most constructive coping mechanism for the incomprehension of life and mortality. And so Auden coped through his art. He coped through his art when the war broke out. Fine, later on he was in a state of disquiet, but nowhere has this leap been made that he realized that art was not adequate enough. He had, he was in a state of disquiet, that is there later on when people died. But uh, the fact that he realized that art was just not enough, that is not stated in my passage. This is a broad leap. So option A makes the leap and therefore cannot be my answer, whereas option B is substantiated. Right, takes a leap goes beyond whereas this is substantiated therefore b is our answer right so i think uh, c and d could be eliminated or some of you may have eliminated a and c easily and then we were uh, we just had to verify things from the passage okay so b is the answer here moderate question because this passage itself is a moderate passage